So a couple of days ago, we packed up our apartment in Boulder, Colorado, and our lease ended there, and we decided to live in Airbnbs full time so we can see more of the beautiful country out here and the states surrounding Colorado. Uh, we drove about six or seven hours down to Southern Colorado to Durango, Colorado, which is where we're at now. Moved into our one bedroom condo Airbnb, and today we drove about 30 minutes. Uh, we're close to a town called Silverton, and we're doing this beautiful hike in the forest with some crazy mountain views. So right now we're taking a little break. We've been hiking for probably over an hour and we're only about a mile and a half in because it's not the best hiking conditions. It's packed down, slippery and sliding snow. <laughs> so we're just taking our time and enjoying the forest. Thought there'd be no snow. Yeah, we thought there would be no snow. So we stopped at this lake that we found that we didn't know was coming up on the trail, had a little bit of lunch, and I think we're just gonna cut our hike short here. We've been sitting here for a little bit, just relaxing. Um, we're gonna head back down the trail and then maybe drive around and see some of the, the mountain views that are around here. Another beautiful sunny day in Durango and we're out on a little uh, forest service road today and just driving through these mountains with these crazy views right behind me. It somehow has already been a week since we came to Durango and time is just flying by. We're here for a month, so we still have about three weeks. Um, we're out on our daily walk in this beautiful trail that is only maybe five minutes from our condo and it's just absolutely beautiful. Left on the floor looking up, wanting more, this is so So it's the next day now and we're out on yet another trail, <laughs> another dog walk. We're at a park called Overend Mountain Park and it again, just like every other trail we've been to so far, so beautiful, We've had amazing weather. It's about 70, maybe a little, a little hotter than 70, full sun, just a really beautiful day. And it's Cinco de Mayo, so 
there might be a margarita in our future. <laughs> Today we're out at a place called Haviland Lake. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Uh, there's a beautiful mountain lake and a really nice campground. Um, we came to just do a little bit of hiking, walk around the lake and let the dogs swim a little bit. It's another beautiful day. It's about 75 and sunny today. We've been super lucky with the weather so far. Just a little bit of wind, but that's okay. Otherwise it's absolutely beautiful. Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime Headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat I learned to rob and steal When my feet had touched dry land How happy I did feel Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river bank, heard the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home We're out today doing a little bit of off-roading in the Jeep. We've been driving on a bunch of amazing forest roads and trails and we came out with you know our uh, sights set on this one campsite to do some camping tonight and there are just so many amazing campsites that we truly have no idea where we're going to end up tonight we've come across a couple of campsites that have you know beautiful river views and one next to a waterfall so we're really looking forward to just spending the day exploring and finding somewhere awesome to camp. Uh, we packed up the cooler in the back of the Jeep and we're going to camp in our iCamper rooftop tent tonight. So it's going to be a great day. Of course the dogs are loving all of this space to run around and catch the ball. Get all of their energy out hopefully. Gather around you good time boys, listen to my song. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and settle.
we just got to camp after an awesome day driving around and exploring the area. And we ended up back at the first campsite that we found, well, one of the first ones, which is the one with the waterfall. And it just is absolutely beautiful here. You really can't beat it. Uh, we have so much space, a nice flat area and piece of land. And if you come over here, there's a nice little creek. So right at our campsite, we have this great little fire pit that somebody built and a nice little bench and this beautiful water right here. The Jeep definitely got nice and muddy today. And right back here next to our campsite is this incredible waterfall with another campsite, but we figured we might want to be a little bit further away from the water in case it gets too chilly. Tonight for dinner, we're going to keep it pretty simple. I chopped up some chicken before we left the house and now I'm just cooking that on the camp stove. We're going to add some barbecue sauce to that and then do a little bit of asparagus and white rice. Jumped in the in the stream. How cold is it? it has to be 35 degrees. <laughs> Just making some coffee. It's a nice sunny morning so far. We made another campfire and we're just hanging out and relaxing while we make some coffee, the dogs run around, and then make some eggs and toast soon. Oh, good boy, Douglas. So it's been a couple of days since we got back from our camping trip and we had a super relaxing, nice time. And now we're out at a place called the Vallecito Reservoir in a cute little, I don't know if it's little. It's little. Cute little mountain town called Vallecito. And there's just this incredible mountain lake that we stumbled upon. We just found it on the map and drove here. It was about a 30, 35 minute drive from our condo.
Saturday, May 14th, and we're out on a little hike about an hour, I think, northeast of Durango. We went past the Vallecito Reservoir, which we were at the other day, and drove a little bit further, and Paul found us this beautiful hike, some lovely mountains so far, uh, big granite walls, it's super beautiful. And yeah, we're just enjoying the sunshine and a nice Saturday. What do you think, little lady? You wanna live on a farm? I do wanna live on a farm. Maybe this farm. I wanna live on this farm. <laughs> yeah. Sunday, another great weather day. It's about 80 degrees today, full sun, a little bit warm, but thankfully we're hiking next to a creek, so the dogs were able to go swimming a little bit right before our hike. We're out on the Colorado Trail, hiking up to a place called Goody's Rest. I think there's supposed to be a pretty good view up there. I think it's about a seven or eight mile hike maybe. Um, supposed to be about 1,500 feet of elevation gain according to all trails.
We're out at this incredible lake called Lake Night Horse, uh, right in the town of Durango. It's incredible. The water is so blue and pretty colored. We tried to come the other day, but they don't open on uh, weekdays until a certain day of the year. So we came back today. Uh, there's a $10 fee to get in, but definitely worth it. The dogs are able to swim at this little beach and it's a great day. It's about 82 degrees, I think I saw. Sunny, blue skies, just really, really nice. The lake is also way bigger than it looks from here. It wraps all the way around there, goes down here a little bit. Uh, you can take boats out, you can rent paddle boards, kayaks, all kinds of things. Can you spin? Good boy, sit, sit. Good boy. Today we're out walking on the Hermosa Creek Trail. It feels like we're pretty out here even though we're sort of close to town. Um, absolutely beautiful out here. There are a lot of burnt trees. There definitely was a fire here. I'm not sure how long ago, but pretty sad to see all the burnt trees, but there's so much new green life sprouting up too. So it's one of our last few days here in Durango, which is crazy that the month just flew by so fast, um, but we're looking forward to keeping on moving and keeping the adventure going. Well, the night is dark and Lord, it's cloudy. I've been Here's a quick little view of our Airbnb. We just rented this one bedroom condo. Nice little kitchen. And then it opens up into the living room. I have all the lights turned off since we're checking out, so it's a little bit dark. Um, out there is the patio with a nice grill. My little workstation. And then our bedroom. We have the bed all stripped, so <laughs> it's not totally ready as it was when we came in. Paul had his little desk over here. And then, nice bathroom back here. Somehow, just like that, our time here in Durango is over. It has been an incredible month. We truly fell in love with the town of Durango. It really is such an awesome place. We had so much fun. We're checking out of our Airbnb right now and we are off to Utah today. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here and we'll start a new one for our next adventure. Oh,
Lord.